Here's how NASA's Perseverance will change everything we know about Mars. NASA's Perseverance rover had the right idea this week. Get the heck off this planet while the getting is good. As part of NASA's Mars 2020 project, Perseverance launched Thursday morning from Cape Canaveral, Florida via an Atlas V rocket from ULA or United Launch Alliance, a joint venture from Boeing and Lockheed, whose acronym should be familiar to old fans of Muskwatch, RIP. It'll spend the next seven-ish months in transit before it can begin its mission that's going to totally revolutionize what we know about our closest neighbor, aka the Red Planet. And it might be time to queue up your David Bowie tracks because one of the primary goals of this mission is to look for life on Mars. Namely, to seek signs of ancient life, like legit ancient aliens, maybe a star man. But one of the ways that Perseverance is going to revolutionize what we know about Mars is that it's setting the stage to bring samples from Mars back to Earth. Now, Perseverance will gather rock and soil samples in a manner that NASA hopes to be able to retrieve on a future Mars mission. And once that goal is completed, we will, for the first time in human history, have brought back a piece of another planet to Earth to study. And as we've seen from any and all sci-fi movies, that never ends badly. Joking aside, this is incredible. Now, cleanliness and handwashing aren't just really important during times like these, they're also crucial for a rover that needs to collect Martian samples that aren't contaminated with gross, icky Earth microbes that could potentially mess with future searches for life on Mars. And if you're a fan of Because Space is Dr. Moo, she contributed to this enormous project in the role of lead of planetary protection. So again, props to Dr. Moo for having maybe the coolest job title in the history of jobs. Now, it's also worth noting that this mission is setting the stage for the plot of the classic Arnold Schwarzenegger film, Total Recall. And yes, besides the whole, get your ass to Mars joke. Get your ass to Mars. Yes, Arnold, thank you for that. We got it. Now, one of the key factors of Perseverance's mission is MOXIE, not the soda. It's an acronym for Mars Oxygen ISRU Experiment, and MOXIE will test tech that aims to convert carbon dioxide from Mars's atmosphere into oxygen. And if you just can't get past not knowing what ISRU means, it's in situ resource utilization, which points to the experiment's goal of utilizing Martian resources rather than bringing them from Earth. So yeah, basically one of the plot points of Total Recall. Ah! Also piggybacking on the ride to Mars is Ingenuity, a tiny helicopter that's gonna be controlled through remote commands from Earth. Okay, NASA, look, we love you and all, but just be honest and tell us you're putting a cool ass drone on Mars. We won't be mad. Ingenuity's goal is to test the capabilities of powered flight on Mars between its thin atmosphere and lower gravity. Ingenuity is completely solar powered and weighs only 4 pounds or 1.8 kilograms if you're what scientists call a scientist. And at the risk of two Arnie movie references in one Nerdist News, Sounds like we've got to get the ass to the chopper on Mars. <laughs> get to the chopper! Anyway, Perseverance is set to land February 2021 in Mars's Yezero Crater, which we hear is pretty lovely this time of year. Now, the location itself is actually key to the mission because the crater was once a lake, and it's the perfect place to begin studying how Mars has changed over the eons. But in the meantime, tell me, what do you folks think? How do you think NASA could recover Perseverance's samples in the future? What do you think it's actually going to find? And because Earth is basically turned into the plot of The Running Man, should we have gone for three Arnie references? Yes! Let's discuss in the comments below and for all the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure that you head to Nerdist.com. Nerdist.